Hello everyone, it's Cookie at Cookie's Cache, and we're back and we're going to do a large bag opening. I got this from a private seller, it's 11 pounds and we're going to work through it. So uh, be prepared, get your drinks, uh, your snacks, and your pencils, and get ready. If you see anything in here that you might like to have, what you can do is get a timestamp on the video and um, it'll, that way it'll take me directly to it and then we can discuss the price via email and um, be sure and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'd appreciate it go out to the side to the right side and hit the all button and you'll be notified whenever I do a, a bag or box opening and of course on my sales I do my sales on Tuesday evenings and um, you don't have to buy anything just come in and chat and if you would, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on your way in or way out. So let's get started. 11 pounds. Get after it here. It's a little bit heavy. But let's see what happens. Well, and it looks like it's a lot of turquoise color, teal and turquoise color. So we'll see. Well, first off, right off the bat, this thing comes out and it is turquoise. It's cold, very cold. And we this back a little bit so I can get everything in the picture for you. I'm going to set the earrings off to the side here and as they come up matched I'll put them together. Uh, first item, this has a lobster claw clasp. Very cute. I like this. It's kind of got a um, kind of an antique gold findings to it. It is needs to be laying out for a while, but it has, um, longest point is, let me move my, <laughs> can't, can't read my ruler backwards. That's sad. <laughs> okay, it's about 13 inches long to, it's from the lobster claw clasp to the longest um, strand down here. Has some large chunks. You could always, you know, you could always take this apart and repurpose it. It's got some starfish on it. And a larger chunk down here as it goes down. And then it's a three-strander. Very pretty. Very nice. I like that one. Okay. Let's put that one aside. So we'll set this one aside. And uh, it'll come up for sale if nobody wants it between now and then at our, at our sale auction. Here is a halite dyed turquoise butterfly pendant, and it's heavy. This has got some weight to it. It is 13 inches from the lobster claw to the bottom of the butterfly pendant, and then it has another 4 inches. So this is a long one. This is really pretty. It has the dyed halite beads right here. And... Heavy chain, silver tones, some AB rhinestones here at the top of the little rows in the middle. Very pretty. Uh, let me look and see if I see anything here. No, just an extender. So that, that's pretty long. Very nice. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all okay. Getting along in the world, in the world well. Okay, here comes some acrylic beads, glass. Um, trying to think, I looked this up the other day. There's a special name for, they're called, gosh, it slips my mind now. It'll come to me in a minute. But they have their beads, their acrylic beads. No, they're glass beads. Glass beads with foil in the inside. I think they're called Bichronic. Chronic beads. I might be saying that wrong. These are glass. This is a double strander and it's 10 inches and then it has about a three inch um, extender. Silver tone beads here, some shell, some deep teal, some turquoise looking stones or glass. Very pretty. Nice statement. Okay. We moved our, our base from one room to another, from where we display and, and do our sales from to another room. 
and this one doesn't have a fan and the light is right above me and so won't be long before I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> this one is forgot 14 inches long and it's chunks of it's really different. It's like it was coated with something. I don't know. It's it's very cold, so it is stone. And it's but it's got like <laughs> it reminds me of, you know, when you're gonna put a steak on, you've got the steak and then you've got the little bit of fat on the edge. That's what these all have that. And there's some lighter stones, which is I'm sure agate. And then the green or teal colored agate and then the seed beads in between little red it's very pretty ice cold got a little bit of weight to it oh we have a little shambhala bracelet brown strand um, string that it works with and oh actually it's a choker and it's adjustable and it's got these dyed sodalite beads round. I would say they're, I would say they're four millimeters. Very nice. The opening is actually seven and a half, and it could actually go bigger because it's got a, it needs a little bit of a wash, but it's got another loop to make it bigger. Very cute. And then we have this glass. Um, it's got some rondelles some crystal rondelles and it looks like it's just all one piece. Let me see if I can see anything here. This is, I think those are just plastic beads there. This is a stone. Could be, it looks like halite, but it's not dyed in the same color as the other. So it sets it off and these little crystal, nope, it's what they call an eternity necklace. And it is, let's see, it is 29 and a half inches long. So you could actually double this. You could probably even triple it if you don't mind a short one. But look at that, that's, that's really pretty. Okay. Okay, here is a memory wire acrylic bead bracelet. And it's got a little earring stuck to it. Let me see if I can get this guy out of there. I don't mind when they're just hooked in, but it looks like this one is actually deciding. Huh. There's a little charm on the end here. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can get him out of there. I have to check on it. It has a little cross as, as a dangle. It has another little cross. That's cute. It's got wooden beads and it's got the light blue and the the bicone, kind of a rondellish bicone <laughs> clear bead. It's acrylic. But I was trying to see if I could get this out without damaging anything. These are it's a seed bead earring that's stuck on the end. There's a little heart on the end of it, so I'm going to hand it off to Larry and let him see if he can fiddle with it a little bit. Oops, we have the bottom of a barrel clasp. I know, it's probably going to require a, what do you call them, pliers, some needle nose pliers to get it out. I can't even tell how it attaches. A pair of acrylic crystal that looks like it's like a gunmetal color blue. Those are really pretty. Got some glitter to it. Nice pair. Okay, this is a double strand. I like the way she keeps uh, this seller, this particular seller, keeps everything kind of in the same tones. Lobster claw class with a two inch extender. This is Oh, it's seen some real wear on it. It's kind of a coppery tone, but I'm going to give it an attempt because it is a cute little necklace. It's got, you can see where the copper is coming through. It was a silver tone, but
but it might be okay because these are really coppery up here. We'll, we'll wash it and see. It is a long necklace. It is 18 inches to the from the clasp all the way to the bottom of the this pendant here. All little hearts. If not, it'll go in a craft lot. But we'll see. Okay. This is unusual. This is a necklace of shells. And they're dyed, but they're dyed in such a way where the white shines through. It's not where, it's actually the way it's done. And they're mounted, sewn on a, like a cable track chain. And it has a lobster claw clasp. Very sturdy one, but it's it's a silver lobster claw clasp. This is artisan made, and it has the little, if I can get it straightened out, look at that, isn't that pretty? It's really nice. Okay. A lot of necklaces coming out. Some earrings here, here's another set of pair of earrings. This has got that, um, that foil inside the acrylic, and then kind of a crackled uh, crystal, but they are acrylic. Oh, a little pendant. How cute. It looks like it, uh, it's acrylic. Very nice little earring. Oh, look at here. There's the other one right off the bat. There we go, a pair of little Fiesta earrings. The only thing coming up would be the um, Labor Day weekend, I guess, because they've canceled our state fair here in New Mexico. There's that little bracelet he did on the attach it, and it does have a little heart. It's very cute. Okay, and here's a little, the little seed bead earring. Turquoise and... and uh, and metal and a silver hook. Okay. Little stretchy bracelet, purples and blues and clear stones. Um, acrylic or plastic. Nice little child's bracelet. We'll put that in a craft lot or jewelry lot. And this is dyed halite. It's on a gold tone chain. And then it has, I would probably do something different. Take this, this little goodie off. It's a suede tassel. And I've kind of gotten it. I'm close, but not real close here. Let's see here. Got another pair of earrings trying to get out. There we go. And another kind of a stretch. Let's see if I can pull this out right here. Oh, good. Not too bad. This is very long. It is a lobster claw clasp. It is eight, 17 and a half inches from the clasp. It has a one inch extender to the halite bead, dyed halite. Very pretty, I like that. That's, but this is, is that, I think that's matrix in there, or you can tell the, the hop, the halite, but I'll have to look at that closer. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oops, another little pierced earring. Oh, now this is cute, really cute. It's got three little plastic or acrylic little beads dangling down and it's got teal tone and a kind of a goldish tone rhinestones right in the middle there. It's only a single one right now so we'll set it aside. Ah, look at this. This is a um, resin on silver tone pierced earring. That's pretty. It's got, it's picking up all kinds of reflections. Can you see that? I just got it stuck. Sorry. 
That's pretty, isn't it? I'm trying to get it to focus for me. That's pretty good. And it's it's a teal color, but the, the colors, it picks up the light. Okay, here's another pair of those same earrings that we had earlier with the gunmetal and the teal color and the gold inside. Oh, this is cute. This is very cute. It's a little bracelet. Let's see how long it is. Oh, it's not a little bracelet. It's a long bracelet. Let's see here. It's about six and a half inches dyed halite on silver tone. Um, no marks. I think we need to raise this a little bit. It's just not getting enough of the picture. Um, double strand, little extender. Very cute. That's a nice little bracelet. Get that turquoise look without the extensive turquoise. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, I, as I said, I hope everybody is doing well. We're holding out here. We've had a couple of real close matches almost for um, weather. Stormed last night, but without the rain. I mean, it blew, blew limbs off of trees. Now, this is not eight and a half inches, and then you've got about another inch with a pewter. Sisk is the name of this. And these are acrylic. It's cute. It's on a little plastic um, leather, or plastic faux leather. And then it does need a hook. It does need a clasp. But that is cute if you like turtles. That's a sea turtle. Okay, let's see what else. We've got another. This is like liquid silver. Let me, oh, here's where the clasp broke off. I see. I said that we had a, a broken barrel come out. It's not the barrel. It just slipped the, the, the station here on the end. I can't crimp that back in. I'll have to put a new crimp on it. But it's got silver tone beads, little tiny bits of turquoise, and then the dyed halite. And that one is nine and a half inches. That's cute. I like that one too. Nothing really outlandish so far. Now this is a feather earring. Teal. I'm thinking it's a bit. Yeah. Teal with the gold tips. Oh, it could use a wash. Very light or brushing. But it is on the gold tone, so that's pretty. And here's another third pair of those same earrings with the foil inside, the teal colored ones. You have to do a, a lot or something. Here's almost the same pair that came out earlier, like Crystal. I must have got a bargain on those. Let's just fill her bag up with all the, the duplicates we had that we can't seem to get rid of. <laughs> That's all right. We'll put them in jewelry lot or something if we have too many of them. This is seed beads, little turquoise with a lobster claw clasp. Very light color, and then it has the crystal, beautiful square crystal glass cut, and that one is eight and a half inches. Look at how that picks up the light. Very pretty. Okay, oh, I want to see what this is. It is nothing. It is a prong set, channel set necklace that is teal in color or turquoise tone. Very pretty, very nicely done. But I don't know what it was attached to unless it just broke in half. Um, I'll have to look at that one. You know what it might have been? It looks like it might have been it might have been uh, 
an eternity necklace because it's long enough. It's actually 16 inches long. And uh, I don't know, we might could do something with that. We'll set that aside and see. That could end up in a craft lot. Have a little heart, clay heart, pierced earring, single. And then we have this, this kind of bohemian um, necklace. I'm going to say it's artisan made. It, it appears to be the way it is. It's just tied. And then it's got these little uh, acrylic beads that go down. They look like um, oriental lanterns. It's kind of a teal tone. Very cute. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting right there. I know we have pretty good lighting now, but very cute. Nice. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Okay. Here is shells with seed beads in between. Has a barrel clasp. And it has these little kind of um, S shells. I don't know what they call those particularly. But that's very bohemian. Real cute. I'll put that in a craft lot or a jewelry lot. Oh dear me, dear me. Okay, let's pull this heavier things out. Maybe that'll loosen some stuff up here. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this coming out of here, guys. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a lot of beads missing on this. I guess you could detach this piece. Dyed halite on silver tone. It's a heavy, heavy chunk. But as you go up the necklace, it's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It's too bad that it's missing. What I could do, well, it's not missing anything on the pendant part. And then this could also be used as a pendant by itself. These are nice um, faux squash blossoms, but they have a real nice look. It's just all these other little teardrop beads off here. Have, you see where they're missing right there? So pretty. Oh, and then it's missing a large one there. This could be salvageable. Um, not as such, but repurposed. That piece right there would go by itself. It's Oops, there is one missing here, and I don't think there's a replacement for it. Nope. Unfortunately, I think this one's going to visit a craft lot. That's a shame. Very pretty. Good luck for somebody else, but not for me. Here is a stretch. These, this reminds me of those candies when we were kids. They were on a necklace, candy on a string, or candy necklaces. Only these are black, and they're wood beads and teal. Very cute. Here's another one, quite heavy, dyed halite. And this one has L-E on the, on the bead. I don't know what L-E, under an umbrella. I don't know, but they're ice cold. Very pretty. Ah, look at this. Another pair. So now we have, let's see, one... Two, three, four pairs of this. God, I could almost open a shop and have those. Okay, and this is that Hamansa hand. This one's quite delicate. A lot of detail in there, copper tone or brass. And it's a necklace. And these are, look to be, oh no, they're just acrylic. That's a cute little necklace. Oh, here we go again, you guys. Is this not too funny? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're up to five pairs of these now. So there's no shortage for this particular look if you're interested. <laughs> you could get one and then get another one. That way you have a spare in case you lose one. Here is the match to that one I pulled out in the beginning. The kind of a Kind of a matte look on the teal colored with the, the rondelle that has got like lamp work on it. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got eight. Oh, these are cute. Look at this. I hope I get another one. 
It's Dia de los Muertos, the little turquoise skull. It is just acrylic, but it has a little cross. That's very cute. And now this is cute. This is, this is, that is turquoise. And these are glass. These are acrylic. So it's a mixture of stones and glass. And this looks like it's a halite. See a lot of those little beads. This one is eight and a half from the lobster claw. Cute. Silver tone heart. A little, little watermelon bead. Okay. Oh, now this is cute. This has got, uh, I don't know, I'll give it a wash, but I'm not real crazy about it. This is a Chloe and Isabel is the tag on it. And it's got fabric between the brass tones. See the fabric? It's not very pretty fabric. It's not in bad shape. It's just not, I'll have to check it out. Then it has some rondelles. Uh, that AB wash and then some more and then you've got some in the rose tone. It goes very well with the, the fabric. So we'll give that a wash. Let's see. That one is 14 inches long. I'm getting a shadow in there somehow. I wonder if it's that. Okay. Oh, now this is just acrylic necklace. I can get it out of the tangle here. Here's that little seed bead earring. That's really cute. Somebody put some work into that. That's hard to do. You've never tried it, and it's just amazing. I'm going to pass this lump off to my husband and let him play with it. I think he has more patience at that than I do. I don't mind big ones like this, but when they're really tangled with the little ones, I start to get really frustrated. Ooh, now this one I could see myself repurposing uh, with wire wrapping. This is an agate, and it's like, um, that looks like under the sea. I don't know if you can see the colors in that. There's a little bit of maroon over here, and then it's like little road maps everywhere. It is on a long wood and beaded ver um, variety of colored necklace has a huge lobster claw clasp but that stone is gorgeous I might just sn snuff that one it is 18 inches long that would be very pretty to, to redo this one right here repurpose in fact it had something hanging from the bottom and it's no longer with it so let's see what happens with that here is a bangle bracelet and it has like arrows on the side let me get over to this other side because that didn't uh, that's where the seam is at that's really odd because you can see it's seam right here nowhere else it's a gold tone with it with the teal color Okay, we'll set that aside. Now this I like. This is a stretch bracelet. This is a more of a, a blue, very light blue with the silver in between. Very well done. It still has good stretch. It's in good shape. Nice color. This little earring keeps wanting to jump out. It's dyed halite on a little gold wire slips through very dyed very lightly dyed i'll set that aside and see if something follows it now here's one this is nice this one actually matches that earring but this is what in the world they put the clip over here it must have come loose that's what it is i'll have to this is a repair but this is dyed halite it is this will definitely be a quick repair Eight and a half inches, but it is very pretty. Look at that. Very light. Can't tell the difference. I mean, if you're real familiar with turquoise, you can. 
but I'm just going to get up that close to it. They're just going to admire it. Oh, my absolute favorites. I just, I'm not a real fan of these, but I see all the ladies on the TV now. They're going back, they're coming back big time in style. This is a, a statement necklace, and it's got the teal color, kind of a purplish blue, and then the black dangle down here. And I do see a lobster, uh, a hang tag, and that hang tag says, etc. So it's an etc. piece. It is 10 inches long, and then it has a two inch extender with the lobster claw. Pretty different colors than that. Now that would stand out very nicely on a black dress or black blouse. I just don't, I don't care for the weight on them for myself personally. They, um, they put too much pressure on my, on my spine. But if you don't have any problems in that area, you're good to go. That, that tangle I passed off to Larry is just, <laughs> I think it's got him stymied. Mm -hmm. No, I guess he's just checking it out. Where'd the boys go? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're just glad that they get to be in that room. Okay, acrylic, another statement necklace. Looks like it's in good condition. Let me pull it up so you can see it. It's got the round, faceted acrylic beads and then it has these dangle little round beads on it and it is also an etc and I'm betting it's it's 11 inches okay. now this is that this has got shell and it's yeah this is a shell necklace coming out if I can get it undone oh very nice it is 11 inches from the clasp to the lap to the longest chain and it has a very long extender about a three inch extender on it and look at these beads they've taken and they've of course there there's the metal that goes through it but look at that they've painted on it on one side like a drizzled frosting on the blue and then it's got some brown tones it's got some little discs little disc shells. That's different. Very different. It's nice. That brown and that blue together. Very attractive. Oh, here we go. I just love these. Huh? I just love these stretchy bracelets. This one has that uh, glass with the foil inside. This is a, that's acrylic. some pretty colors to it green dark blue and it's got these silver just needs a good wash my hands were clean when I started out <laughs> okay this one looks like it's a bracelet it's too small to be anything but and it's an AB um, glass oops now I got it stuck yeah okay yeah, this one we're just going to toss in the in a jewelry lot or craft lot. It's very cute, very delicate, but not my bag of tea. Here is a little butterfly, gold tone, or silver tone rather, pierced earring with a hoop, which is different. Has some little acrylic beads hanging down. Just good wash. We'll set it aside. Hope we find the other one. This is a um, acrylic abalone shark's tooth. It's seen some better days. Here's another pair of those other dangly earrings that we keep getting. They're very pretty. They've got that kind of a very light teal, see-through, shiny. But I think we are going to have to do our... Here's another little... Oops. Here's another pair coming out. Somebody hit a hit a jewelry shop or they 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 like this type of earring. Um, here's another little halite, white halite on gold tone. No match yet. 
put those over there. This is a little turquoise chip necklace with a lobster claw clasp, about an inch extender, and it is eight inches. It does need a wash. It's pretty dull looking. Okay. So I guess I'm going to have to pull out my pliers and do a little bit of repair. Now this is cute. This is ten and a half inches. It's silver tone. It has a three and a half inch extender. I'm quite trying to see if I can get this sit shifted around. And they're little teardrops. Very pretty. Very light teal. And it's acrylic. Yeah. Okay. Can you believe it? 11 pounds and we're almost to the bottom. How about that? Um, <laughs> okay. These are seed bead earrings. This is a three inch drop from the post. Teal color. It's just dyed, and you can tell there's been some wear on it, but it's it makes it kind of brighten up. It's got a little bit of white to it. Interesting. Uh, they're not heavy, but I don't think it's something I'd wear. This came off of something in there. It's a little piece of abalone, which I love these little pieces like this. I can always add them to necklaces. Here is a stretch bracelet. Good stretch. Has a safety chain on it. Dyed halite, and it's got some silver, some copper, you know, some silver and brass. Oh, here, look at this one. Woohoo! This is dyed halite as well. Very cold. Very light, light tone. And this is brass. Good stretch, still going. Here is a very, this is like a seafoam. Well, no, you know what? It's two different colors. This is kind of a seafoam green. And this is a seafoam teal. There's no name. It's a little clamper and it has little rhinestone flowers all the way around. That's lovely. Just cute. Oh, we even got a turquoise, um, faux turquoise. This is just acrylic with a rhinestone in the middle. Pin. No name. It does have a rollover clasp. Pity. Oh, look at this. Now this I like. This is dyed halite with a lot of silver tone in it. Look at the shape of this piece that they drilled out. They're all pretty good. It's, it's hefty. Stretch, like I said. That is cute. This would go perfect with the... I have one that has silver flowers. Stretch bracelet all the way around. And I've kind of been holding on to it. I don't know if I want to get rid of it yet or not. But that's cute. I like that one. I like it. And here's a... Uh, what is this? This is not cold. This is just acrylic with a big old copper medallion or sprayed copper medallion. I don't know. We'll put that in the craft lot too. Here's that other feather earring. In fact, this one seems like it's in better condition than the than its partner. I don't think too many people wear those feather earrings. I don't know about you. Now, here's a cute little bracelet. Uh, it's all acrylic. Some green stones, some faux turquoise, some faux uh, jade. It's, it's seen its better days. Get that. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. Oh, now these are different. A little pair of silver tone earrings. Oh, wait a minute. 
No, it's not a pair. It's a single. And it is a class back. I bet you I'm not going to get the other one for it, though. She's usually pretty good. This seller's usually pretty good about making sure I have both, you know, a set. So, yeah, I did. I've got, like, that seafoam green and then a, a deep teal and a light teal. That's cute. Pretty modern silver tone. And then we have this acrylic with brown beads and teal. I like these these crackle ones here. They're well, it's not crackle, it's like they were water stained on the outside. Very pretty. That one is, like I said, acrylic, eight and a half inches. Here's that one to the bracelet, the match to the bracelet, the candy necklace, teal. Both of them are stretch. That's a good match. And we're down there, guys. And right at the very bottom here. Let me just dump this out. There's not much left. Oh, you know what? These were earrings. These, this abalone was an earring. I might put them back together and see if somebody would want those. Those are cute, especially since they're abalone. Here is a little pierced earring medallion. Uh, here's another pair of those. <laughs> Um, those are glass. These are glass. The other ones were acrylic. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I can find a match to this here. There's not a whole bunch left. Oh, look at you guys. I have another pair. <laughs> I think, what's that, seven now? <laughs> uh, each day of the week. Yeah. You don't ever, yeah. You can wear it. I have the match to that one that was kind of shiny, reflective, the silver tone. That's pretty. Like an earring lot. I don't think I'm going to get this guy. L-Y-S. That is L-Y-S. And, well, I guess that's not too bad because um, there's a couple of them that didn't match up. Now, this is cute. This is all one piece. It's silver tone. And it is a small size. Look at that. How I how like dyed halite on silver tone. And it is a, it's a five and a quarter. That is, but isn't that pretty? Look at that. That's a nice piece. Actually, I, one of the other pieces I pulled out kind of matched that. Hmm. I'll have to look and see if there was a match, but this is nice. And here's another silver tone piece. Oh, look, at it. it's missing a little tiny bead right here. But that one's a cute one, too. I might be able to find something that goes in there. Huh. I hate that when that happens. You know, you find something really cute, appealing. This is that LYS earring. I don't know what that goes to. And here is a little flower piece. Here, uh, stud. Here is the match to the, this halide piece, these earrings that were on the gold tone. That's pretty different. Here is a piece that goes to, nope, this was an earring. Single earring. Not bad. Oh, I found one of the pieces to that other big one that goes for the, I was telling you that the medallion was so pretty that we're not going to use. And this looks like it lost a back. No, this is off of a bracelet, and then a wild, crazy bead. And we have a little um, Shambhala on cord, gold and teal tone. We have a bamboo style with the enameled uh, turquoise or teal color. Very nice. And let's see, we're down to the bottom. Here is... Here is, now this is reconstituted turquoise, but it also has this green acrylic bead that is, this is weird because this looks like it has eyes on it. These turquoise beads, can you see that? Don't they look like they have little eyes? That's odd, but it has these um, Asian looking symbols here on the, on the I don't know if I, I, that's strange. Looks like two little eyes. And a mouth. And here is 
its companion. Same thing. Now this is dyed halide. Hmm. What a pair. Quite a pair. And we have, now this is really different. It's a slab of, I don't know. Uh, the deeper, deeper matrix in that that I'm used to seeing on halide. Doesn't it, this is just silver tone, I'm sure. No, it doesn't stick, so we'll have to check that one. Have Larry get out his little acid tester. Now this one is dyed halite, and it is lobster claw class with a one inch extender. And then the little silver beads in between. That's a pretty one too. That'll go very well with something. This was all turquoise stuff. How about that, guys? I didn't get the match to this guy. I got a couple of single earrings. And um, like I said, it was 11 pound bag. Not bad. Um, got some good things. Um, got some resellable and stuff I can use for, for um, I don't know what that symbol is right there. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it looks like four fingers going around in the shape of a star, kind of. I'm not familiar with that at all, but that doesn't mean anything. Just because I haven't seen it. Maybe somebody out there can give me a hint. Just drop down in the comments. Like I said, if you if you see anything, if you go back through, decide to go back through and look, then look for the timestamp. Send me an email at Cass Norvell Century Link. Casnorvell at CenturyLink.net and just tell me the timestamp. I'll go in and check it. This is one long necklace, lobster claw clasp. It's the one that had that little um, tag on it. It's Oh, okay. It's very pretty. It's got the little beads. It's got the little trumpet kind of crystal looking beads, silver chain. It's got some little little rondelles. It's beautiful. It's 19 inches long for that thing right there. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, my darling. Let's see. Oh, on that tangle he, he undid, he found this little baby, little baby cross. I'll bet it's silver. Oh, it's got to be because look at the inlay. The little turquoise inlay on that cross. It's tiny. Let me see how big it is. It's a quarter of an inch. And then it's on the liquid silver. Now I'll polish that up real nice. That'll be beautiful. Then we have this faux piece, that acrylic one with the, the um, kind of a long marquee around it. It is silver tone. And it is on a 12 inch chain. And then another two inches for this piece. It's nice. Oh, let's see. Oh, now this is cute. This is, I like this. This is delicate. Very, very whimsical. It is nine and a half inches, and it has a three inch extender lobster cock clasp, and it has all these little delightful little, there's um, dyed halite, there's turquoise beads, there's blue rondelles, there's red bicones, um, rose tone little beads. Um, very pretty. And then it has these little pieces at every other station or so. And some of them are, oh, they have little um, rhinestones in them. So that's a pretty little piece too. Now here, this is my last one coming up for this bag. I think she did a good job on stuffing it. Not bad. I think I paid 59 for this. 11 pounds. This is 19 inches long, has no has no tag, but it has a two and a half inch extender, and they are silver and kind of a very light um, crystal station all the way down, and then in between you have these silver kind of spray glittery balls, and then you have this acrylic 
like double-sided um, stones on each side and then they get bigger and bigger and then you've got your focal point down here. So it's um, actually two strands and it's very nice, very pretty. So guys, that's it for this bag. I'm glad you uh, took the time to pop in and watch. Um, if you liked anything, great. I love to hear from you. Uh, you can tech or comment in the comment section. And on your way out, if you would, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. It helps me build my channel and get more people interested. And you can also hit the share button if you have anybody that would likes to have jewelry or likes to look at jewelry even. Um, have them share with them and have them come on board and watch me. And uh, we'll just have a good time together. How about that? Okay, well, stay safe out there. And try to be kind to one another. And take care and God bless you all.